welcome and welcome back to my channel for those who are new here this is Sata Touch. we made a lot of videos on DIY project furniture flips room decor and plants and have you watched my previous video where I turned this old orange chair into a new one if you haven't yet I'll put the link in the description below so for today's video I'll be showing you how I made a kokedama Also, at the end of this video, I will share some tips on how to take care of your kokedama. So basically, kokedama is a planting technique from Japan, which is a plant that are plant in a mud ball and cover with moss. So we don't need any pot for it. If I'm not mistaken, um, kokedama is originally a bonsai plant and it needs a mud-like soil to make it stay in this structure but nowadays i see a lot of variety in kokedama plant people plant every type of plant there is i think you just need to alter the soil that are suitable for the plant so like if like say you're trying to do a succulent so you need a succulent or cactus soil for it Okay, so when I started to do kokedama back in 2019, I think I watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to make it and while I'm making it, I found a way to make it with less mess and super easy So I'm sharing this technique with you guys now So what we basically need for this project is plant, soil, water, sphagnum moss, string, scissors and one thing that I did different from others is I have two used plastic bag. Before we start, I'm gonna show you how I prepare my plant. I bought this ivy plant from the nursery for 15 ringgit. Squish the pot like this a bit and hold the lowest near to the soil part all together like this and pull. Can you see there's a lot of root here? Uh, this indicates that uh, it's time for the plant to be repot. You can actually get a lot from this one pot. I divide that whole pot into 7 smaller bunch. I also bought this plant and divide it into 2. I'm not familiar with this plant and it surprised me to see that uh, it kinda have root like this. If you know what's the name of this plant and how to take care of it, please let me know. I also have another plant that looks almost similar and I think it looks really nice for kokedama. Also, I have a bunch of plants that I took from my mother's garden for this project. Okay, now that we have the plant ready, let's start. First thing first, I'm gonna mix the soil with water. I'm not the expert on soil, so here I'm just using this uh, normal potting soil. Mix it with water until all the soil part is quite wet. I can't tell you what's the actual ratio of the soil and water, but um, this part we have to agak-agak. So this is the consistency we want. Not too wet and not too dry. When you're done with this, put this aside. Take your plastic bag and lay it down nicely. Cut both the handle, turn it around and then cut all the way through at the bottom part. Also, cut one of the side uh, to make a spread like this. Macam lapik gitu. Next, put the soil on the plastic bag. Amount of soil dia kena bersesuaian dengan size of plant. Tak apa, jangan risau. Sebab kalau tak cukup, nanti kemudian kita boleh tambah lagi. Next, take your plant and put it on the soil. Uh, tanah dia tu kena ratakan sikit eh. If the root of your plant is too big or too long, just cut it off. Don't worry, it will grow back. Okay, now scoop the soil from the bottom of the plastic bag like this. Try to bring the soil up over the root of the plant. Here, the trick is, don't focus to tighten the soil just yet. Grab the plastic around the neck of the plant first, so that you can hold it like this. Then, you can put some pressure to the soil to create a ball. Press tightly to make it stick together. Sebab kan kita letak air tadi, jadi uh, tanah tu melekat. So, if your soil doesn't stick together, that means uh, you need to put more water. And if you think the ball is too small for your plant, just add more. And vice versa. Do this until you get a solid round soil like this. I'm just gonna tidy up the top part here. A bit more and I'm done. Okay, next, take your second plastic bag and spread it again. We're gonna use this sphagnum moss. 
uh, sphagnum moss is actually a dried dead moss if you don't have this uh, the other alternative is by using uh, coco peat fiber or if you want to be fancier you can use the green moss bila guna lumut yang hijau tu akan jadi lagi cantik lah rupa dia Lagipun, asal kau kedai mani, dia memang pakai lumut hidup pun. If you are not familiar with this moss thing, sebenarnya moss ni adalah lumut. Kalau nak beli lumut hidup tu, banyak juga orang jual sekarang ni. Sebab sekarang trend orang buat terrarium dengan aquascape kan. Tapi kalau nak cari sendiri pun senang je. Um, cari kat dalam pasu ke, dekat tepi longkang, dekat bawah pokok besar. Biasanya ada tumbuh dekat kawasan-kawasan macam tu. Uh, lagipun sekarang ni musim hujan kan, uh, lagi banyak dia ada. Okay, now I'm spreading my uh, sphagnum moss like this. For some people, they soak their sphagnum moss in water first. But I don't like it to be messy like that. So instead, I just pour a bit of water on it. It's best if you have spray bottle for this. Okay, take the plant that we made just now and gently put it on the center of the sphagnum moss. Now, again, using the same technique, grab from the underneath of the plastic and press the moss into the soil. Make sure the moss cover every part of the soil. We don't want any part of the soil exposed because this will create a problem when we water the plant afterwards. I'll tell you how to water your kakedama at the end of this video. Again, make sure to squeeze it tightly uh, and make it as compact as possible. If your moss look like this, uh, macam dia tak kemas kan, macam dia terkeluar-keluar sikit, uh, that means that it's quite dry so you need to add water to it. Okay, now this is how it looks like. Next step is to tie it. Okay, take your string. Start with tie a double knot at the bottom part. Bring around 10 cm extra and wrap it around the plant so that it won't get tied up with the dress. And then just start to wrap around the bottom part like this. Make sure to cover most of the part equally. Kalau tali tu nampak sekata, barulah cantik nanti. You can also wrap it like this if you want. Nampak lagi kemas. But personally, I like this one better because it looks more natural. When you are satisfied with that, tie a double knot again with the first string that we left behind earlier. If you are planning to hang your kakedama, uh, you can leave a few meters of this string to hang. And if not, you can just cut it off. And it's done! put it on a plate like this. You can use your old teacup plate. For me, I got this lovely plate from a thrift shop where I did the videos on last time. I'll put the link of the video in the description below. You can easily get this kind of plate at the thrift shop uh, for one or two ringgit. Or if you want, you can make your own by using a dry clay just like how I did in this video. Again, I will put the link in the description below if you want to check it out. So I gonna suggest you one more. Use a dowel. You need three of it. If you don't have any dowel, you can use a pencil or a chopstick. It's up to you. And then take a string and tie it in the middle. Like this. Cut off the excess and you get something like this. Open it. And then you just can put your... Easy DIY. So as promised, I will share with you some tips on how to take care of your kakedama. First thing first, I will teach you how to water it. You can do it two ways. One is by spraying it, but you have to do it regularly because it can be dry out very easy. Second method, what I always do is by dipping this inside a container, fill it with water. I'll suggest you to do it once a week. Um, but if you put your plant outside, uh, you might want to water it more. Because the soil is limited, so the plant needs extra nutrition. So once a month, you need to put some fertilizer, dilute it with water, and you can water your plant with fertilized water. 
Okay, that's all for today. So, what do you think about this tutorial? Do you like it? I am 100% obsessed with all of it. Hope this video can help you in making your own kakedama. Let me know your thoughts on this project. And if you are anyway inspired by this project and you want to share it in your Instagram, make sure you tag me on Instagram at atatouch.my. For my next video, I'm thinking of doing some giveaway for my birthday month. So if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And to make sure you won't miss the giveaways, remember to press the bell button. Okay, that's all from After Touch for today. So, uh, stay tuned and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Assalamualaikum!